and I was just disrespected to the lowest, man. No man should be called because you work for me. You need to apologize. You should be grateful that I'm giving you this. Wait, 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 wait. Th this, this company literally said that, like, verbatim? Yeah, word for word. Word for word, they called you the the N-word. Oh, yeah. This this oh, is yeah. a comp this is a comp a trucking company. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age what sixty. He's just gonna break bad. All right, all right. Isaiah in the building. <laughs> so you reached out to the channel uh, because you had an issue with a uh, with a black ops company out in uh, Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, why don't you go in right. and uh, introduce yourself? Uh, and before we start, guys, this is his experience. His experience may differ between any and everybody else's experience with the company that he's about to talk about. All right, so go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, my guy. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Uh, my name is Isaiah. I'm 27 years old, a young black guy just trying to make it in this trucker game. Um, I got three years experience off the books. I was running illegal. Um, took a year out the trucking game just to get my whole full CDLs so I can come in this game the right way and be treated the right way. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So off the books uh, for three years, so you was running – for like what an owner operator or something like that yes i was running for owner operators a lot of them they don't they, as long as you can push that truck and you know how to drive they have a driver that's legal they don't really care as long as you got your permit they don't care if you're legal or not as long as you can operate that equipment safe and get that load done that's all they care about okay so the way they played it was you 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 went to get your permit and you just you you just played it like that uh just drove like you know like the like the owner operator was there training you or something like that but in actuality right. he wasn't there right okay okay so you must have been lucky throughout that little three-year period not to get not to get pulled over or anything how did you manage that um, well, <laughs> about that DOT wind up catching up with me, wind up sending a letter in the mail, and I had to play an undisclosed fine or go back and fight each state that I went through. And I didn't want to do that because I knew I was wrong. Uh, so I just played the undisclosed fine that was damn near $3,000. Uh, and that's when I had to take a year out the trucking game, go to a trucking school, and get my CD out. Okay, okay. Basically, you basically it pushed you <laughs> to, to to become <laughs> legal. But uh, luckily, yeah. luckily for you, with the little bit of experience that you already had, I guess going to school was was a breeze for you, right? Oh yeah, I was wind up teaching other people how to operate the equipment safe because the trucking school I went to wasn't the best. They just was in it for the money not in it for the people that really needed this learning experience mm, damn well that's gonna be a whole nother story for that one right there all right um so what's the name what, what what what's the name of the company that 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 you reached out to and 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 unfortunately got treated bad at uh, the, the name of the company is Smack Fright. S M A C C Fright. How Smack? See what I'm saying? These these companies I haven't even heard of. Like, where this company come from? Like, how did you find out about this company? How long they been in existence? And and what? Uh, I wound up finding them over Instagram. That's how they promote their business. They don't even promote it on Indeed. Um, 
and I wound up doing a back a background check. They they was in they've been in business for five years. So I thought it was a good, I thought I was going to a good company, a good owner operator company because I don't like to deal with micro carriers because I don't like to be paid pennies. I don't like to be treated like a number. All right, fair, fair. All right, so you found again, guys. You know another, uh, as I always said before. You know these black op companies tend to promote heavy, heavy on social media. Some of which, as I said before, we 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 can't find, you know, no legitimate information about them like websites, safer scores, and stuff like that. You know, we just have to we we just have to go in blind, you know, go in with blind faith. All right, so you um you reached out, they got you up to Illinois. They got you in a, they got you in a truck. Uh, during orientation, what was, what was supposed to, have been offered to you, and then what, what did you end up finding out, uh, about the company that didn't, again, that didn't treat you right. Okay, so when I got there, I drove eleven. I had my girlfriend, she drove me eleven hours out there. Um, did a little drive test, then went back to the office. Now, when it, when I before I came out there, they told me I would be paid sixty five cent per mile since I did have experience, and I'll be in my own truck. And they did not run teams, and I'll be doing drop and hook for J B Hunt. Okay. Once I signed that paper, everything was not on it what they told me i wind up having to drive so for another driver around that was a sap driver and he was not clear and me and him picked up a little we was down marietta georgia and they told me i'm going to be put in my own truck once i dropped him off in atlanta because they got him clear. I get out there. We're now we're in Atlantic traffic. I get a phone, so I'm doing my 10 hour reset. Uh, I get woken up out of my sleep out of company. They say we need you to do do us a big favor. I say what's that favor? They say we need you to rescue another driver that's stuck in traffic about a mile ahead of y'all. That mile turned into about an hour ahead of us. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You talking about rescue another driver with a driver that you already had in the truck? Right. Because so this driver said he. So now you, got your own side. you 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 got one driver in the truck that you that you about to drop off in Atlanta somewhere, and now right. but before you drop him off, you have to go and rescue another driver. That's what broke down. What was what's his situation? He didn't want to drive no more because he sat in traffic for two hours. He said he was fatigued. Fair. Oh, okay. I mean, he could have. I mean, he could have went to the petrol to the Flying J. I mean, Atlanta traffic can get kind of deep. I. <laughs> Believe me, I am definitely not a fan of uh of 285, 75, all that. I'm I'm definitely not a fan. Oh, I, can, yeah. I can totally I can totally understand his situation, but really, you 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 need another driver to come and rescue you because you don't because you're too tired to drive. You couldn't like drive over to uh uh the truck stop or or somewhere safe to get you know to get some rest in how did that work right <laughs> so i grabbed all my stuff out the truck that i was supposed to be supposed to be my truck i jumped into this guy's truck we complete the load now they're saying we're a team driver 
So I'm still new with the company. I'm like, okay, let me, let me see how this go. They say, we just want to have you team drive. This what this happened on a Tuesday. They said by Friday, I'll be in my own truck. Hi, um, my name is Peter Parker, and I like a coffee, please. Okay, no problem, Peter Parker. So me and this guy, we're driving, we're driving. So Thursday come, you got to go out Tennessee to pick up another load. This guy, <laughs> and I was, I was in the bunk resting. Something said, wake up. I wakes up. And I can feel when we're going down a steep hill. And I just keep hearing the brick stamp, the, the, vials, the yellow valve being popped. But I didn't want to assume that's what he was doing. So when I intervened, he had accidentally popped both of his valves and lost all air pressure as we're going down a 3% grade hill. Okay, that's, Somehow, that, some sounds, that sounds like a booty clincher. What's 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 going on oh, in yeah. this? What's going on in this dramatic uh, downturn? Right. <laughs> Somehow, some way, I get him. I get the truck pulled over. I switch seats. Air pressure builds back up, and I ask him. I say, you know, you supposed to use your engine brake and jig brake to go down hill. This guy tells me he don't know what that is. He's just out of trucking school. He don't know what he's doing. The company told him to pull his yellow valve to go down the go down the hill. So Friday come, we're going to Florida now. So before we go to do that load, I ask them. I say, can I be put in my own truck? They say, no, you're not going to be put in your own truck because you want a manual. We don't have any manuals available, so you're going to have to team drive. Okay. If I'm going to team drive, if I'm going to team drive, I'm going to have my girlfriend drive. Okay. She's, got, she's a PDO okay. older, too. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You, you get in with this company. You was told that you would have your own truck. Uh, right. when you get in, unfortunately you didn't get in. You, you end up being, uh, a shuttle driver pretty much. Now you, now right. you thrown into a team situation with an inexperienced driver. Yeah. So what, so what am I, what, what am I seeing here? They, they inspect you to train him and team with him as well. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, that would be, that would be a negative, sir. <laughs> no, sir, ma'am, that, that would be a negative. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, I did not sign up for this. I, they, they, you, you already, you already tricked me into being the team driver and I ain't even want to be that, but I definitely didn't sign up to be a team driver and a trainer at the same time. We're, we're not doing that, not, especially at 65 cent a mile. And you didn't even t let me know that this guy is fresh out of school. Damn near, damn near killed me going down, you know, going down a hill without using Jake brakes that he don't know nothing about. Bruh, you, I'll, I hope you kind of like took that dude back to the shop and told them like, yo, we, we, we need something else. What's, What's going on, man? What 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 else is going on with this company, man? So we come back out from Florida. So now when I'm telling them, because we're going through the mountains and stuff, I'm telling them, I say I need to stop at a, a loves or something. I need to get a truck GPS because mine's went out. I say y'all can take it out my check, but y'all gonna have to pay for this truck GPS. I tell them the price of the GPS the GPS was from 322. They said, oh, no, no, no. All our drivers use their phone. So <laughs> I said, okay. So he had, so the, the, the partner that I'm teaming with, he said, here, use my phone. So we're using Trucker Pass. 
So somehow, some way, the destination that we needed to go to was similar to a destination in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. So by the time we get up, we're now we're on a truck restricted route, and now I, I wake him up. I say, hey, man, we're in a nasty situation. I need you to get out where I can turn this truck around and get us back down this mountain. Uh, he gets out. Some good Samaritans help us. We wind, wind up having to go back, go back down the same way we come in. Now there was a snake wind turn that we had to go back and do again. I had to put my life on a line and experience to get us back down that mountain because the truck wound up off centering when I had to go back around that turn. And I'm glad this truck had a manual option because if it didn't, we would have been stuck and they would have been having to tow this truck up out of there. Mm. So, I get us out of that situation. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I get us, I get us out of that situation. Me being a good person that I am, I notify the company. I let them know, hey, this truck almost went off the cliff, but it's, I wind up getting us down this mountain. I need a truck GPS. First thing they say is, speed up to the good part. What's the damages to the truck? I, I ended the conversation right there. I said, hey, I just risked my life for y'all to make sure y'all equipment is fine. I said, but y'all don't care about the two drivers that's in this truck? They said, we, we hear that all the time. We, we don't care. We don't care. Just bring the truck back. So now we are routed back up to Illinois. We get back up to Chicago, Illinois. Now I'm thinking, okay, we got spent through hell. Now I'm going to get my own truck. I get to relax. I got my dog with me. Man, I need our own space. They put me in a classic Peterbilt. That's fine with me, manual. But what was not fine with me, that the truck was altered to the point you, it, you didn't have to hit the clutch no more. Whoever drove the truck before me or whoever you got the truck from altered it where you didn't have to touch the clutch. That was a big no-no for me. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Let, let me back you up, man. Let, 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 me, let me back you up to the, to, to the mountain and the phone call because I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, already, I'm, I'm already ready to go. I mean, once, once old boy said that, Next thing out of my mouth would have been, yo, where do you want this truck, bro? Because I, I, I just told you that I put my life on the line to make sure that me and this guy and the load was okay. And the only thing that, that, that came out of your mouth is, Oh well, we hear that every day. What what's our what is is there any damage to the truck? Bump the damage to the truck, bro. We we could have we we could have flew off the off the hill, my guy. Like What's that? Uh 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 too too many red flags going around going on with this company, bro. Too way oh, yeah. too many. Now I can under you know, some companies are funny. Like, you know, when you call them up and you'd be like, yo, I need a, I need a truck GPS, like a truck GPS. Oh no, our, our, our drivers use their phones. Really? That's another red flag. <laughs> I never use the phone, bro. Especially going down 77 reception, down there, reception down there <laughs> with any carrier, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T is scrappy, bruh. It yeah. is scrappy. That's why I try my damnedest not to take 77 if I don't have to. Like when I come down to right. Atlanta, I take 75. If I if I know I'm going to Florida, I take 75. If I don't have to have no stops uh in North Carolina, South Carolina, or anything like that, I take 75. Now I know on the way back up because we we usually you know fr uh, Florida freight sucks and we usually have to literally deadhead to either Savannah Georgia or uh, South Carolina and I know I had to end up being on seventy seven I I know that but but cell phone service down through that area man it is not all that damn hot and and bro over here telling you to use the use your cell phone for a truck gps man that's 
They couldn't just they, they they couldn't just uh you know advance you the money that you needed to get the truck GPS and again they could have just took it out of your out of your settlement. I don't that that's crazy to me. My God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. Right. They had me drive. So I've been, I was with them for like two and a half, three weeks before I put my foot down. And <laughs> I can even see the pictures, the breakdown <coughs> of what they paid me. All right. So they got, so they got you before we get to the payment. So they got you in a, in an Arthur Peterbilt, uh, you yeah. you you questioned that. Did they did they turn around and get you something else, or was you able to? Would you you just you just did the damn thing with with the Peterbilt? So they had me sit at a truck, um, a mechanic so a mechanic shop for four hours. The guy wound up readjusting the clutch and fixed it. But I still had no heat. And I'm in one of the coldest states right now, <laughs> Chicago. So as I'm, once I told them the truck had no heat, they even sent me up even further. They were trying to get me to go out Wyoming. We, get, we wind up getting half. Well, getting, getting up there is cold. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> And but, I was freezing. But you didn't have no, but you didn't have no heat. But they still wanted you to go to Wyoming, though. Right. So I called my trucker friend, and I asked them, "What would you do in this situation?" They said, "Isaiah, you ain't got to take this, man. You turn them their equipment and get your things and go." So I called the company. I said, "Hey, y'all have another truck that we can put me in." They say I was getting luxury treatment from this jump. I don't deserve to get a better truck than what I am in. I, I'm costing the company money because I already had to get the, the clutch readjusted. And they said, why don't you just tie cardboard up in front of the truck to fix the thermostat issue? Okay, bro. The, the, yo, your homeboy gave you the best advice, my guy. He, he gave you the best advice. Yo, take that truck back, park that motherfucker. Thank you. Please come again. When do I get my paycheck? Let's fast forward to the to the settlements, man, because the numbers that you Ooh. the numbers that you sent me, they didn't they 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 didn't look kosher, bro. So what what did they what what did they do to you? Uh, what what did they do to you to mess with your money, man? Because I know that's what they did. They took out um, deductions that didn't have nothing to do with me that should have been paid through for a company. Um, the toll passes, just anything that they can hit me with to come out my check to come that can that that should a company driver shouldn't be paying for. And the remainder out of that was $175 that I still haven't received to this day. They got mad because once I took the truck back to the yard, me and my dog, we walked 20 miles to the nearest Holiday Inn. I had to beg this company to pay for a hotel until my girlfriend could come up and get me the next morning. And I was just disrespected to the lowest, man. No man should be called bitch ass niggas, bitch motherfuckers. You work for me. You need to apologize. You should be grateful that I'm giving you this. Wait, 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 wait. This this company literally said that like verbatim. Yeah, word for word. Word for word, they called you the the n word. Oh yeah. This this oh, is yeah. a this is a comp a trucking company 
out of Illinois. Name of the company is Smack Freight. Freight Smack. The fuck name of this company yeah. again? Smack Freight. You said it right the first time. Smack Freight. Right? Yeah. Out of out of Illinois, out of Chicago, Illinois, or out out of where? Chicago, Illinois. Out right. of Chicago, Illinois, a company that's advertising on Instagram. And they you you only been with them by the sounds of it like what, four weeks and they and they and they over here talking about they treating you you getting a luxury treatment like for real for real bro i mean i i kind of felt that you was like disrespected from the jump especially being the uh being a shuttle driver then you almost got into a serious accident and they didn't they 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 disrespect you on that and then over here calling you like i mean did, is that like through a, a phone call like a fleet manager oh, yeah. or, or or the or the uh, fleet manager is actually talking to you like that what this talk this is the owner of the company talking to me like that this is the this owner is of the company calling you a bitch ass n word are you serious you can't be I'm serious dead, right man. now bro I'm dead, sir. You, oh, okay, okay, okay. You, you not just saying that because you're disgruntled, right? You, I mean, you, this, you, you being totally upfront and honest with me. I'm being totally honest. I'm an honest person. Wow. Well, I I kind of hope with that said, uh, you you left that company alone, and oh, yeah. uh, take that as a teachable moment, as a as a learning moment, because it's it, it, as I said before, these these companies that that be advertising through social media, man, it, it, we we just. We just don't know. We, we don't know much about them. You know, I mean, mega carriers, yeah, we know everything we need to know about a mega carrier. But these fly-by-night companies that come in, look for a driver, mistreat a driver, throw the driver to the wolves, eat them up, chew them out, spin them, spin them out, and, and, and kind of like wipe their foot like bubble gum on their shoe type companies you know you, you 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 just don't know that's why these that's why these facebook companies these instagram companies need to be vetted oh yeah uh, you know these companies that only been here for like five years six years you know we we we, we looking for we, we just looking for drivers so that we can make money so did so I'm assuming all this is 1099 by the way, right? Oh yeah. But so they advertise in W. They advertise in W two, but it's but it's actually 1099. So yeah. Out of all the money that you made for the for the four weeks that you stayed there, you you only walked away with a little under with with. With a little under five hundred dollars. Oh, I didn't even get that. They didn't never. They never sent it to me. They just sent you the breakdown. So wait a minute. So for the four weeks you've been there, you never been paid. Never been paid. We got the runaround. Never been paid for four weeks. How many? How many loads that you actually? With the exception of the shuttles, how many loads did you actually take for them? I uh, took almost about the test load. That's when I called it a quit. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. After the 10th load, that's when I walked away. So, what, two, three? 
in a four week period, three lows, four lows in a in a four week uh, period? I want to say about five lows in a four week period. Sit with me, Cato. Tell me your tale. Five lows in a four-week period, and you never got paid for neither one of them. None at all. See, right here is what made drivers go psycho. Yeah. See, right here, right here, is what make drivers go postal like i i i don't know your I, I don't know your situation prior to you getting there um i'm i'm kind of hoping it wasn't bad but drivers that comes to company likes that some of some of them be in dire straits i'm, I'm going to destroy it out there, there there's there's a few drivers out there that be in dire straits. They get with this company, hopefully, hoping that they can get back on a good foot, but they already in a situation when they get there. So the lows that they take and the money that they that they supposed to be getting is what they literally counting on. So if you take like two or three lows and the company owes you like like maybe a thousand fifteen hundred dollars and they don't give it to you and then you know they they get rid of you or you happen to leave on some on some bs they still owe you that money and now you're 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 stranded and i you know i i i kind of pulled back from what i have been saying because I always tell people, never go nowhere broke. Always have some backup money. That's why I said I don't I don't know your situation prior, but I always let people know, have some backup money. But sometimes drivers get in the situation that they don't have no backup money. The backup money is is when they get with the with the company that's why i see too many drivers trying to you know continue their journey through black ops companies because you know they can't they can't move nowhere else you know what i'm saying they're they're yeah. they're stranded they 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 out of money and and again that's what makes that what makes them go postal man i mean I mean, there has been drivers in the past that that really, I mean, one driver took a family out, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, it was another, I mean, there, I, there's pl there's been plenty of stories out here that's, that drivers, you know, went, went psycho. Drivers committed suicides because of companies like that not, not treating them well, man. So this company right here, oh, yeah. Smack, what, what, what are we talking about? S, S C A or S? What what is it? S C A C C A? How, how you spell it? It's S M A C C, Freight. Smack Freight in Chicago, Illinois, and they only been in existence for five years, but the owner sounds like the owner allegedly because i don't want you know um very disrespectful to this particular driver so but as i said before y'all this is this this is my man's uh experience you know maybe other drivers probably might have a better experience i don't know but this is his experience uh with the company and I'm 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 just flabbergasted of 
how they how they treated you like i mean they they offered the world they offered the world to you only you uh, they offered the world to you and then you come in and then all of a sudden you get you 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 get backhanded smacked <laughs> you know oh yeah <laughs> wow bro i'm 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 so sorry to hear that um i'm glad i'm i'm glad that you uh came on and and shared your story with us man your testimony with us um since that company is in the rear view what, what, what's your situation now right now i'm just looking to get started with with another company if i can get back on the road because if the wheels ain't turning i ain't earning facts <laughs> facts man Whew. well i hope everything works out for you driver in the future uh, i'm hoping maybe you can uh get your get your money i mean there's been like i said there's been issues with other drivers that i know that has issue with uh with illinois chicago land companies and they're not able to get paid they're not able to get their money they're not able to you know they they're not able to get any re um you know they're not able to get nothing for the you know, service or anything like that. It's crazy. Oh yeah. So <laughs> there's such a problem. But uh Smack S M God damn Florida Troopers is out hard today, bruh. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh Smack S M A C C Freight out of Illinois, guys, if you come across that company, make sure that you do your due diligence. Make sure you do your background check. Your, you know, you might need to vet them hard. And um, and yeah, man, that's wow. But uh, again, Isaiah, thank you very much. Isaiah, right? I, I said it right, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Isaiah, man, thank you very much for uh, coming on to the show, man. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate your support, man. And, uh, and yeah, keep, you know, keep me in, um, keep me in the loop on what's going on with you in the future, man. You know, if you get with a good company, let us know. If you get with a bad company, let us know. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I appreciate you just taking my call for this interview. For other drivers, man, because I, I just don't want this to keep happening, man. It gotta stop. I agree. It it it, it do gotta it it do gotta stop, man. It do gotta stop, man. So. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you let me real way? Yeah, so much.